I often gaze at my collection of beautiful puppets. The latest addition is a girl, so pretty and yet so broken. She must have had a difficult life because she turned to drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism. I watched her for quite some time. She was wrapped up in the partying lifestyle. One night at the biggest party of the year, she was throwing her life away, as young people tend to do, and I decided that if her life meant so little to her, she wouldn't mind someone else taking possession of it. I waited until she passed out and seized the sleeping beauty. When she woke up the next day, she had a splitting headache from her hangover, and as she came to, she realized that the headache was the least of her problems. She screamed so loudly that she ripped the stitching out of her mouth. What a naughty girl. I had to correct her. I don't think she'll be screaming ever again. <laughs> Do you think I'm afraid? I was. The first time. I was afraid of the consequences. The fear. The imprisonment. Knowing what they would do to me in those bars. It was my worst nightmare. But the first time you take a life you stop caring. You stop caring about all the lives you've ended. The lives you've cut short with the simple swipe of a blade. You stop caring about all the blood that was shed, and then you start caring about your own skin. What caused me to do it? Isolation. The lack of friends, the lack of people to turn to, made me snap. Betrayal. And lies. Those stuck-up little girls, they saw... They saw him jump. But what did they do? They wanted to blame me, because I happened to be there, and I didn't stop him. You know why I didn't stop him? It was because he'd lied to me. I just wanted to be left alone. I was getting bullied enough already. But after this, after being accused of stealing that girl's necklace, I was over the edge. I just... I couldn't bring myself to do anything but sit in my room and draw. I drew pictures of me stabbing them, carving smiles into their face, and painting with their blood all over the walls. It wasn't long until those pictures soon became reality. <laughs> I have never felt more alive than that night. They shouldn't be excited about tomorrow. Because there will be no tomorrow. <laughs>